Hey, Oratile, I hope this helps. Um, all right, so restrictions fall under algebraic equations. So you only need to do a restriction if there's an equation. And you only need to do a restriction if there is a variable in the denominator. Okay, so those are the two things. Has to be an equation, has to have a variable in the denominator. If it doesn't have those two things, you don't need to do a restriction. Okay, so here's an example. There's my variable in the denominator, and it's an equation because there's an equal sign. Okay, a restriction states always that the denominator can't be equal to zero. That's it. That's what a restriction is. The denominator can't be equal to zero. Okay, so in this case here, yeah, my restriction would be the denominator, which is x, cannot be equal to zero. There it is there. All right, then I would solve the equation as normal. So I need to find an LCD, so I would multiply the 10 by x, and I'm going to distribute that 4 into the bracket, which will give me this. Okay, once I've got my LCD, I drop my LCD, and then I can solve. So I get my like terms. Divide through by the 6 to get um, x alone, and I find that x is equal to 0. Okay, now this is where the restriction comes in. I've already said x can't be equal to 0. Okay, so this solution here that I've got is not valid. Okay, so there's no solution to this equation. That's all it means. And you would write there, no solution, based on what you've said in your restriction. Okay, let's do another example. All right, so... Um, here's another example. This one is a little bit more difficult um, because you're not sure how to start with your restriction. And the reason for that is, is um, because there's so many different denominators, right? So I would say first try and find your LCD. Okay, so I need to first find my LCD, then I'm going to do my restriction. And how do I find my LCD here? Well, I need to factorize. So I need to factorize this middle denominator and then I can, it'll be easy for me to find my LCD. Okay, thing to note, this says x minus 3, this says x plus 3. I can already see that when I do dots, this is going to be the wrong way around. So I'm going to first do my switch around. Okay, so if I switch these two, my plus is going to change to a negative, which is here. Then I can do dots here, so I'm going to have x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay, so there it is there. Then I already can see what my LCD is going to be. Okay, what is my LCD going to be? It's going to be basically this middle denominator, x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay, so from there, I need to do my restriction. Okay, and I need to do a restriction for every single aspect of the denominator that has a variable. Okay, so for example, there's two um, different parts of this LCD, if you want to say it like that. There's the x minus 3 part and the x plus 3 part. So I need to do a restriction for both of those. Okay, so the x plus 3 um, can't be equal to 0, and the x minus 3 can't be equal to 0. So there's two different restrictions. So restriction 1, x minus 3 can't be equal to 0, so that means that x can't be equal to 3. So all I've done is I've taken this negative over the equal sign and said 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Okay, my second restriction x plus 3 can't be equal to 0, so that means x can't be equal to negative 3. Okay, so let's just look at this restriction 1. The reason x can't be equal to 3 is because 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's jump back to our question. So we've dealt with our, our restrictions. Now we would need to actually find an LCD properly. Okay, so this here is missing the x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply that numerator by x plus 3. This denominator is missing the x minus 3, so I'm going to multiply that one by x minus 3. Okay, then I would drop my LCD, uh, drop my LCD here. Yeah. Okay, um, and that's what I've got. So I'm going to distribute this 2x into the x and the 3. I'll distribute that negative into the bracket, and I'll distribute that x into the bracket. And that's what I'm going to get, and then I'm going to get my like terms together, which will give me this. Okay, once I've got this, I need to somehow solve for x. Um, I can see it's a quadratic equation because it's got an x squared, which means the only way to solve it is to factorize the left-hand side and make the right-hand side equal to 0. Okay, So if I do that, I can see it's going to be a trinomial. So factors of 3 that when I add them, I get 4. That will be 3 and 1. Then I would solve, so I do my split. x plus 1 is equal to 0 x plus 3 is equal to 0, and then I solve. All right, now I need to double check with my restrictions. 
Okay, so I checked my first answer, x minus one, x equals minus one. Is that in my, my restrictions? No, it's not. Okay, then I go to my other answer. My other answer is x equals negative three. Okay, my second restriction says that x can't be equal to negative three. So what I do is I keep it there, but then next to it, I just write not applicable. Okay, so that solution is not applicable. The other one is still applicable. So there is a solution, um, but only only one of the answers is actually applicable, the other one is not applicable. So I do write in a next to the answer that's not applicable. All right, I hope that helps.